Right, everybody, Ruben Amrim. What will his be his ideal defence at Manchester United? I'll be running through that, giving you some options and giving you what my ideal defence would be at Manchester United. I'm only going to be talking about the players that we have. I'll talk about potential transfers. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. So, you know, Amrim plays with a three. Um, he likes a right centre back who can cover the channels, very comfortable on the ball, pacey, um, and has very good qualities. A central centre back as well who's good on the ball, very quick, very pacey, and very intense. And then the left centre back is someone who's good on the ball, can invert into a left back, physical. And the main thing about all the centre backs is they must be good on the ball. And I think with the quality and I think the ability of players we have at Manchester United, that shouldn't be an issue. Now, my ideal defence quickly would be. I think it will be left centre back will be Martinez, central centre back will be Delit, and right centre back will be Yoro. As I said, the central centre back, someone who likes to go into that midfield um, and kind of do that. I think Delit can definitely do that role. He's very, very good on the ball. Um, I think Yoro will absolutely thrive in that right centre back role. He's very, very good at covering channels, very good defensively, and I think he can be one of United's most exciting players. He's good on the ball, he's versatile, can probably play central centre-back, even left centre-back. Um, obviously, it'd be a new role for him. Didn't really man didn't really get a game under Ten Hag, um, so it'd be fresh. He'd be one of those new players coming in and want to prove a point immediately under Ruben Amorim. He's had a lot of time out with injury, and I think that'd be something that would massively help us. Now, central centre-back, as I said, Delit, he's had a great start to his career at Manchester United. I think he, he has played in the back three before at Juventus and at times at Bayern Munich, which he's talked about. He's obviously very excited for Amarim to come in. I think he will be very, very good. Um, and I think he will excel at Manchester United. He's had a great start. He's a very, very good centre-back. Knows the game relatively well. Very experienced. Um, and on the left, I think it will be Martinez. I think Martinez is a player who's still got a lot to prove. He's had a good few seasons now in the Premier League and he's looked relatively good this season. Um, that left centre-back role is a role that he would have played as well before. Um, the importance of the left centre-back, they have to sometimes out of possession or even in possession go to that left-back role. I think Martinez is a very smart and intelligent player. And then centre-backs is very interesting because we haven't really seen in the last recent managers many of them play a back three. So it will be a lot to adapt to for certain players. But I think it will be very, very positive and very, very good for them. I think the late central centre-back, fantastic. Yoro, as I said, can cover the channels. And on the left, Martinez. Now, you definitely have a variation and rotation for that. The central centre-back rotation option could probably be Maguire. I think he can do that role well. You obviously got Luke Shaw. I think he will be someone who, for me, can't play left-back. He will have to play... Oh, sorry, won't can't play left-wing-back. will have to play left-back. And on the right, I think it will be... Um, Lindelof cover for Mas um Lindelof cover for Lenny Euro. Then you've also got Johnny Evans. So there definitely are enough options. I think United are pretty strong at centre back. And now for the wing back roles, I think it will be Delo on the right to start off with. I think Delo suits that role fantastically because he is a bit defensively weak. And I think allow him to just attack, attack, attack will be fantastic. On the left, I think Masrawi should start. I think Masrawi's been fantastic this season. He can definitely have an impact. We've seen it bring crosses into the box. He's very good technically. He can invert when needed, attack opponents. And as I said, you could see a winger sometimes there. But just after waiting and seeing, you maybe could see Carnacho, Ahmad, Anthony kind of operate from that left wing back role. Maybe even Rashford, maybe that could be a role for him. Um, you've obviously got Malassia, Shaw, Shaw as well. So there definitely are options. But my ideal back three, back five, whatever you want to call it, would be... Yoro in the right centre back, um, Delay in the central centre back, and Martinez in the left centre back. I think that's a very, very good partnership uh, trio. Sorry, that complements each other. On the left, for now, I would have Masrawi, and on the right, I would have Delo. But listen, let me know your thoughts. As I said, there's a lot of options out there. I'll be talking about his ideal midfield and his ideal attack. As I said, the kind of biggest change would probably be to the defence and kind of adapt into that back three sort of system. But as always, let me know your thoughts. Like, comment, subscribe if you are new. This has been another video on all things United talking room and Amarim. There's a lot of topic videos coming. We've we'll been talking about his ideal transfers and five things you will change, five things you must change. Listen, it's an international break. There'll be a lot of content coming out for you guys. But thank you for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts at Manchester United. And as, as always, don't forget to like comment stay tuned as i said there'll be a lot of videos talking ruben amarim coming for you guys in the future we obviously got a big game coming up against ipswich in a few days time listen let's see what happens do you think he will be a success i think he will be and yeah that was his ideal defense as i said i'll be talking about his midfield and his attack but thank you for watching hope you did enjoy peace